Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add different kind of arrows, uh, colorful arrows, shape, and uh, like rectangular, circle, and, and stuff like that inside Femora 10. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create uh, this shape in Femora 10 and and also share with you a pack that you can download at the link I put in the description It's all the shape and arrows and different kind of uh, chat bubble that I create in uh, in other program uh, you can download at my Google Drive okay uh, here I'm on my computer and this is my Femora 10.4 okay and if you are in Femora 9 or Femora 10.3 or stuff like that you can do the same Okay, so I'm going to create a new project with this button. Uh, new project. And the first thing we need a video or the timeline. So in this time, I, I will use all the, uh, the sample video here uh, right inside Filmora 10. So I don't need to uh, render them. Here, I just drag and drop them onto a timeline. Now, for example, the first thing I want to create an arrow, a red arrow. To point uh, point to this area on the screen so what I'm going to do is to play the video and at the position I want to add the arrows I'm going to uh, go to title okay and now we need to find the title folder again and we need to use this one the default uh, the default title just drag and drop it uh, and put it at the at the track above the video track okay so we have the text your title here and uh, we don't need to do anything here just go to the advanced text editor okay so right click at the title box and then select this option advanced edit all right so this is the advanced text editor in Filmora 10 in order to create an error we need to delete this text so this is the timeline and we can delete it simply delete it and then uh, you need to go here at the edge shape uh, button and we are going to click on that and now we can select this arrow okay so this is the arrow that we we can customize and put it at the right uh, position on the screen so the first thing i want to delete this text uh, so we can delete it here and we don't need the text right and for the size and position we can click it click on the, uh, the preview window and move it to where we want to put the the arrow uh, we can also resize it like this and we can also resize the the end of the arrow and also the, uh, there is a size of this part and we can even rotate the arrow okay so that's simple right and on the left side we have the custom my area where we can uh, we can change the field background uh, field and also the border of the uh, the arrow so we are going to find the field here so we have uh, here at this uh, this position we have the shaft field if, if you don't want to have the uh, the background color you can uncheck this box so you don't have the uh, the border right and if you want to have a, a color like uh, red or stuff like that you can check this box and select the color field type here there are two types in uh, in this option first one the color field which is one solid color and the other is gradient field gradient field meaning that you have two color one at the the beginning and the other at the end okay so in this case i'm going to select color field and i'm going to uh, i'm going to change the color to red so i'm going to click here at the more button and i'm going to click red okay so now we have a red arrow here uh, at the preview window right and if you want to add a, to add a borders for this arrow you can go down here down here at the shape border and you can uh, select the color first this is a color and you can increase the size if you want like this so we have a, a red arrow uh, with a white border right and if you want to reduce the opacity of the background you can also do it right here for example I can reduce the, the opacity like this okay in this example I'm going to disable the, the, the shape border here okay so this is the, the arrow that I want to create for my video okay and if I want to add some animation like <laughs> Uh, flying in and flying out or stuff like that uh, all I need to do is to go to here at the animation tab 
and now we have different kind of animation effect here we can select for our arrows but it is only one option in Filmora 10 to uh, to to create to create an animation effect for your arrows because you also have animation keyframe which you can do later when you are at the main timeline uh, by the way for this example we can just do like this select a simple one uh, flip down so I'm going to double click at the animation tab and we have this one flip down arrows right and let's play it very nice right and that is how you can add a, an arrows and you can do the same to uh, to add different kind of shape like circle and rectangular for example for the, for a circle I'm going to click this button to add a circle so we are we have the this circle here and we can re resize it to make it a, a perfect circle like this okay and if you want to change the text inside you can do the same just double click at the text and then you can change it to something else Jackie Nguyen to my name and also you can uh, adjust the size and uh, size here position and stuff like that and you can also change the color here at the customized area okay and shape border for example so that is how you can uh, add different kind of shape and to your video using Filmora 10 okay so for example at this example I'm going to delete this one and I will add add some animation keyframe to this arrow uh, at the at the main timeline so I'm going to click OK and and for your information if you want to use this arrow um, for other project you can click this button to save as custom so you can save it array arrow arrow number one and then you can click ok to put it in your custom title okay and now we are going to click ok to go back to the timeline and this is the arrow that we create created i'm sorry Choo. very nice right and even here you can double click at the title box and resize the arrow here Okay, so it is very uh, very easy. You can resize and reposition it uh, easily at this preview window too. You can also change the animation right inside this area. Okay, and for more uh, for for some advanced animation effect, you can uh, go to here at this animation um, edit this animation tab uh, to customize the uh, the animation like keyframe or stuff like that. For example, I'm going to delete the uh, the motion okay so I'm going to to select uh, the animation and select uh, no animation in this case okay and now we don't have uh, animation effect in the arrow anymore uh, we need to add keyframe to create the animation effect okay I'm going to click OK uh, so for example at this uh, position at this position I want the arrow of my arrow to fly uh, from the left to the right or from outside the screen into the screen so what I'm going to do is to move it out of the frame uh, like this so at this position I'm going to create a keyframe for it so I'm going to move the playhead to the the beginning of the title and I'm going to add a keyframe so we have a keyframe here and we move some frame forward and then we use this um, this animation control uh, this X position we are going to drag it to the right so that my arrow will fly from from the left to the right and now we are just create an animation effect for our arrows okay and this is the result Choo. that's easy right so that is how you can create an arrows and uh, circle and shape or stuff like that inside Filmora 10 and if you want to use my pack uh, so we has many different kind of arrows and uh, shape you can download at the link in the description so I'm going to show you how to use them okay uh, so we are going to click OK and now we go back to the media and now I'm going to import uh, all of my my arrows and shape uh, into Filmora 10 so I'm going to click this button to import the animation here this is the, the all all the things that i create in different program okay so press control a to select all of them and then i'm going to click open to bring all of them into this media folder uh, okay so for example i'm going to delete this one uh, this is the this is the arrow uh, with that line okay 
we are going to put it I'm sorry uh, we are going to put it right here so it is just an image a PNG image with a transparent background so we have this arrows okay and we can also add motion to it so we are going to double click and we go to the animation and uh, the easiest way to add motion to this uh, arrows is to go here at the preset motion legacy so we have many different kind of motion it is similar to animation effect in the title okay and we can click this button no uh, let's select a, in, an interesting one okay so I think this one looks fine we are going to select this one flip up and then uh, we have this arrow uh, with the flip up animation okay and we are going to click ok and play and preview it that is very easy right and again you can also add animation keyframe to this image for example I'm, I'm going to delete this effect and we don't have the uh, the motion anymore by the way we have the animation keyframe we can add uh, the first keyframe here at this position and we want to reduce the, op the opacity to zero so it will be like this and we can move the playhead to some frame forward and reset the opacity okay so now we have the animation fading animation that's easy right let's play it again nice and now at this position we want the the arrow to fly out of the screen we are going to add another uh, animation keyframe and we are going to move our playhead to this position and now we want to adjust the arrows so we fly out of the frame so that is easy right and uh, let's play it like this okay so that is about the arrows and you can do the same with all other shapes i created uh, here for example this circle we have this circle you can add this circle to the timeline and now you want to select a motion for it so we are going to the preset here and we are going to select something that look like like this to the right oh no uh, let's expand expansion okay we're going to double click at the expansion motion and now we have a circle with the expansion uh, animation effect very nice right and it's it is very easy too okay so that is everything about this tutorial i hope it is helpful for you if you have any question let me know in the comment section below if you are new here consider to subscribe to my channel for more video like this thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video Ciao.